Uh, oh, hey, what's going on? You guys have caught me going zen in the park. And why are we going zen in the park? Well, we're going zen for you folks. Like we said before, we're going all 4K here on Tech of Tomorrow. And right now, this thing is being shot in 4K by the Lumix GH4. That's right. Now, this is a mirrorless micro four thirds camera. And that's really about as technical as I'm gonna get because you guys know I'm usually in front of the camera. The cameraman's actually filming it through this though. So we're gonna bring everything to you guys from 4K from here on out. And I basically wanna show you guys the stuff that we be using for our new 4K system. Now, we're using a lot of different stuff. On my chest, I have a little Rhodes pin mic right here that we use. And then down here behind me for our recording our vocals and everything, I got this little Sony thing right here. So this is what we're using for all of our audio. I know a lot of people out there are always asking, what are we using? So we're gonna give you the whole setup, everything we use. So it's the Rode mic, this thing, like usual, everything will be down below. Now, we also have some other stuff back here. We have the camera itself, the really fast, I mean really fast card you need to run this bad boy. This thing's really extremely fast and has 32 gigabytes, so hopefully that'll store enough stuff on it for us to bring our videos to you folks. Now, next up is the lens. Obviously by Panasonic, this is the Panasonic Lumix G Vario, 12, 35 millimeter f2.8. Now the way this thing works though, it's actually going to be double this. So it's gonna be 24, 70 millimeter when using it with this camera. Now the camera actually comes with one battery, but you guys all know how that goes when you're using 4K, like when we're using that black magic thing, it just went boo really, really fast. So with that said, we actually got a little wall charger here. This is the Wasabi Power, and it comes with two extra battery packs. So now I have three battery packs to bring you guys lots of 4K goodness. So let's start actually taking a look at this stuff. So, all right, since we're out in the park, let's just go all natural and uh, we'll use the land itself as our canvas in the background. So now as soon as I flip the top, we can see that they show all of the optional accessories here. Oh, wow, isn't that always nice? But it's nice to have options, I guess, but it's cool if it comes to stuff. So let's go ahead and pop the other cap. Right off the bat, we've got a creating still pictures from 4K motion pictures. Interesting stuff there. Then we've got just uh, some more stuff dear customer dear customer here we've got all of the software the basic owner's manual and i've now got flies buzzing around my head irritating me i want them to go away they're like ants at a picnic irritating so here's all this stuff this is all the drivers and everything in different languages the basic owner's manual tells you about the body and everything else in another language and just some product registration stuff. So that's all the extra goodies. Let's continue on. Keep opening, keep opening. I'm hoping I got that fly, but unfortunately I don't think I did. So okay, inside of here, you guys can see it's all sealed up and everything. Camera's all sealed up. Let me just see what else is in here though before we bounce around. Okay, so here's a strap. Good for carrying the camera or spanking that bad girl that you know. Here's the charging unit for the battery, the cord that goes to it. Obviously, this is going to be for American sockets and for those that use that type of electricity. Here's the battery. So three of those bad boys all together. And then here is the USB cable. I imagine this is for firmware or for transferring stuff directly to your computer, depending on your need. And now let's take a look at the body of the GH4. Pull it all out. Now this thing's very, very light. You can see all internally there. This is actually a very beautiful body. It's about $1,600 right now though, but it is like one of the very first 4K things on the market that's like this. So we're looking forward to using it a lot, bringing you some videos. You guys see the top, all the control units, all that kind of stuff. I'll spin around, I think the angle is probably a little bit better this way. You guys can see all the basic controls and functionality. The same as most cameras, basically. There's gonna be a few other options here and there, but for you guys out there who are, you know, total camera buffs, you're going, oh yeah, I know all that shit like the back of my hand, I am not the cameraman. But this stuff obviously is going to be a very good one because the people who work and manage the company, they chose to buy this one and therefore I'm trusting their judgment that it's going to be awesome because they usually make awesome decisions on buying equipment. So next up, let's take a look at the lens. Got the lens box right here. You guys saw that a second ago, not much to that. Just see what comes in it though, just for shits and giggles. You get the uh, paperwork, like usual. 
always some paperwork. Something nifty right here, along with the fly buzzing around my face. The only problem with the uh, outdoor video is that uh, you get those bugs. Okay, so there's just a case for your lens. So if you need to carry your lens around a case, here's the case for it. It's a little black bag. Could also be used for change carry or something else, depending on what you're doing. Mostly, pretty much my lens is going to be on my camera, so not to worry too much about that. But now, let's get the old lens out. Man, that's pretty much it in the box. Here's like a little sun filter. Yada yada. Doesn't work as good as the one that we actually bought. That one's like $70. And uh, here's the lens itself. Let's get a close up of that, bring it up to you guys in full 4K glory. Shamu, Shamil, Shamil, Shamil. The Loom XG. And by the way, just to let you guys know, everything that is being filmed right now is being filmed with this exact same equipment. So beyond that, let's go check out more 4K footage in the park. All right, folks, so now that we're done monkeying around in 4K, hope you guys liked it. We had a lot of fun. The park's always really cool. There's always a kind of a lot of dynamics going on. There's all kinds of stuff going on, all kinds of people. It's always interesting whenever you come to the park. Anyways, hope you guys like this kind of vid. If so, you guys know what to do. You need, need to do some of this kind of stuff. Now you guys need to brace yourselves and do the Kung Fu kick. Kung Fu kick on that like button. That's right. So if you can't do the Kung Fu kick, then do the Haya Karate on that like button. You guys are always asking, so now we're bringing it to you guys. Everything from now on will be in full 4K, baby. So hey, TOT is gone 4K. You guys always ask us, what do we use in all our stuff? So we showed you guys all that stuff. So we kind of killed a bunch of birds with one single stone. We threw it and I think we got a strike. All the pins are down and uh, that's about it. So we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow. We actually have a really cool slow-mo vid coming to you guys as well with this. So hey, if you guys like that, you're gonna even like that even more. So see you later. I'm off to enjoy the park. Maybe eat a little barbecue.